So in this problem is uh, we are doing to else matching on there. So in this problem is a load value is given. This this load value already normalized on there. So we gonna see how we gonna solve the LC matching and find out the L and C value. So let let's go for the Smith chart on there. So we can see uh in here. Uh, the load value is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 J on here. So we're going to see on there 0 0.3 and 0 0.1 J. So this is our ZL value. So now when we're going to solve the LC matching, now we have to hit to the conducting circle. So we're going to follow the path to call the conducting circle up there and we're gonna hit over here. So this is our Z1 value. And after that, we're gonna scale up, we'll go, we'll scale up all the way to over here. Okay, so now this is our Y1 value on here and we have to go all the way to the center. So now in this case, how would I know that this value is uh, inductor or capacitor? Uh, this is the capacitor shunt or inductor is shunt on there or inductor series or capacitor is shunt. So in this case, we can follow the chart over here. So if it is the Z, Z chart and that is and and is the is and and is a series, we can see the how how we hit to the conducting circle. If we go up, look like that, then it's gonna be inductor in the series. If it is the, if we hit our conducting circle to the down, on uh, that time we can say that this is the capacitor on there. Uh, series will be the capacitor. So let's see uh, what is in our, our case. So in our case, we see that the we are we are going up, uh, up on there and hit to uh, hit to the conducting circle. So we can say that. So this is our Z. Well, this is our Z load on there, and this is because it's hitting up. So it's mean the series inductor. So now after that, it is going to the Y chart. So Y chart and it is going to the, so because it is going to the Y chart, so it's gonna be shunned to the capacitor over here. And this is our generator. So this is our kind of uh, basic circuit right now we're gonna find out the value of what is the, we're gonna find out the value of the, what is the uh, Z, uh, the, what is the inductor value L, and what is the capacitor value C. So, so in this case, because we know that our ZL value is, is the 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 J and our Z1 value is uh, like a zero. Point three plus 0 0.4 six 
G. So and so our ZL. So our ZL. how we find out the L value on there? Uh, so in this case, we can find the what is that? We can say the Z equal to Z new. We say the Z new is a Z one minus Z load value, Z load over here. So our says zero point three plus zero point four six, um, minus zero point three plus zero point one j this four six j. So we can see the value will be the positive as uh, zero point three six j. So now we know the equation. Of the J omega L C naught over zero point three six C. So we can find out the the zero point. 3, 6, uh, and Z naught over here. Suppose if we say the Z naught is 50, we just plug in the value on, on this Z naught and uh, omega is 2 by F. F should be given F equals 6 hertz, gigahertz on there. So we're going to plug in over here and then uh, and that's all we can get some value from L on here. So we'll get now how we're gonna find out the uh, L value. So we know the equation is J omega L Z naught divided uh, divided by Z naught is equal to zero point. 36j on there so we can find out the l value is 0 0.36 uh z naught is the 50 is given it should be given our and the omega is 2 pi f f is the 6 gigahertz is 10 to the power 9 and if we do that, we'll get the 477.5 pico. So this is the, our L value. So now we're gonna do the same way to find out the, our capacitor value on there. So our uh, Y1 is, our one, uh, one is the, okay. So uh, one minus two J and our center is uh, Y, center is one. So y equal to y1 minus y center. So y new value minus y center is gonna be one minus two j minus one is equal to negative two j. So we know the equation is one over j omega c equal to negative. 2j so so uh so we're gonna find out the capacitor value so c equal to one over two into two pi f and so in this case, uh, sorry, C not on there to uh, into 50. 
So one over two into two pi into six gigahertz nine into fifty. We can find out. Two point six five ten to the power negative thirteen. So this is our capacitor value. Suppose if we if we find out the y value, y or the y value is that. As an example, if it is the two j, that time our equation will be j omega c z naught. And there's the way we can find out our C's look like that. Uh, 2 into omega uh, into Z naught. But in our case, uh, our uh, Y value is negative 2J. So we don't use the, this equation. So in future, if you get, if you get a positive value, you have to use uh, J omega C equal to 2J. Uh, that's all for this problem. Thank you.